get out of here! Ouch! If you didn't exist, I wouldn't have to go through all those bitter experiences. Don't you ever show your face again in front of me! Finally, the day has come. My name is Yudai Sahara, a second grade high school student who was raised by a toxic parent. My dad passed away when I was a little boy. Since then, my mom has been addicted to alcohol and she became abusive. Being raised by a single mother, I had no doubt that one day I'll get kicked out since we were living poor. I don't think other moms will say the same words to their own son. Oh, I just realized that the last thing I ate was stir fry bean sprout for lunch yesterday. Huh? You tycoon? It's been a while. Do you remember me? Huh. Who on earth is this beautiful woman? I couldn't recall if I've met her before. I'm Mika Goshimisu. I'm your second cousin. Second cousin? Yes. We were playing together when we were little. I'm so sorry. I don't remember at all. You were just a little boy, so... Never mind about that. Anyway... Oh, uh... Please don't bother. Uh... If you don't mind, could you tell me what happened to you? Actually... I told Mikako-san the background to the matter. I see. So that's what happened. But please don't worry about that. I'll stay at a friend's house for a while. But you can't stay forever at your friend's house. What? well By the way, you die, son. If you have nowhere to go, would you like to stay at my house? Huh? I couldn't refuse her sweet offer, so I followed her to her house. I'm home! What what a clean house. The entrance is definitely bigger than my house's living room. Mikako-sama, welcome home. What? She's the housemaid. We can't do all the cleaning by ourselves. A housemaid? I know I realized that Mikako-san is living in a different world because she's rich. Huh? Big sister? I didn't know that you're home! Aina, I'm home! Huh? Who is he? Our second cousin, Hugh Daikun. He'll be staying here for a while. I think he's the same age as you are. I- I'm Yudai. Nice to meet you. Man, this girl is also so cute. There's no girl as pretty as she is in my class. They look like those pretty sisters drawn in a picture. No kidding! That's so impossible! Yuck! Huh? We're cohabiting with him, right? He looks like a pervert, and he might do something nasty. What? Enough with that, Aina. You're being rude to you, Tycoon. Huh. Sorry about that, Hugh Dyson. No worries. After all, I'm the one who bothered her. No, you didn't. You were already a part of our family. Please don't say such things. I seriously thought that she's a goddess! Please call me Big Sister. Well, I think it's too soon to do that. You think so? I'll prepare lunch, so please wait for a while. Jeez, this sofa is so comfy. I want to trade it with my bed. Huh? Uh... You there. Um... Here you go. What do you think? So cute. Nice to meet you. I'm... Oh! Be careful! Yui! Say hi to you, Daikun. My name is Yui Shimizu. C cute I wonder what this feeling is. I just want to rub her lovingly and protect her. I'm Yudai Sahara. I'll be living in this house. Nice to meet you. You die, big brother. You die, big brother. My gosh. Not big brother, but second cousin. Second cousin? 
Mikako-san, I don't mind her calling me big brother. Oh, really? I think I prefer that way. Huh? No, never mind. Well then, let's eat lunch together. Oh, yes. Looks tasty. Let's eat, huh? Stop it, Yui! Yui-chan? I want to sit here! You're bothering Yuda-kun. Come sit here and eat. Do you mind, big brother? Oh! Sorry, she's a spoiled girl. No worries, she can stay here. It was close. If it wasn't me, I bet the person would have fainted. Thank you for the food! My pleasure. Um... I want to greet your parents because I'll be living here. You don't have to worry about that. I've got permission from my dad. Oh. I wonder when she did that. In addition, both of my parents are living overseas due to their work. Overseas? They came home a while ago, so they'll come home in the next two months. They sure are really busy. I wonder if Yui-chan doesn't feel lonely. You got a point there, but since you're here, she'll be just fine. Well, wait a minute. That means since their parents aren't available, I'll be living in the same house with these beautiful sisters. You're ogling. How disgusting. Enough, Ina. I can't believe I'm living together with this disgusting person. It's the worst thing ever happened to me. Ina. Will you eat lunch or not? I'll eat in my room. I can't stand to have his eyes sleering on me while I'm eating. It feels like I'm living in hell. Sorry for that, you daikun. Never mind about that. Oh. I can't believe that I have my own room. I really thank Mikako-san for all of this. Yes. Can I have a minute with you? Aina-chan! What is it? I wonder if she's gonna kick me out of this house in force by any chance. I heard from Mikako about why you came to our house. What? I didn't know that you went through all of that. Well, yes. That's why... Um... Oh, so this is... I apologize that I said rude things to you. She looked unfriendly at first, but it seems that she's honest. Jeez. You've hurt my feelings by saying those rude things. I... I said I'm sorry for that. I don't think an apology is enough to solve that. What should I do to make you accept my apology? Well... Sorry. Meow. I didn't expect her to do that. So? What do you think? I think the fun life has just started. I have no doubt that those days were the best in my life. Mikako-san is kind, and she took a good care of me. Aina-chan usually unfriendly, but when it's just the two of us together, she's honest and I like that. As for Yui-chan, well, I think she's the champion. I want to live with his family for the rest of my life. I thought of that from the bottom of my heart. One day... Mikako-san, did you call me? Oh! You daikun, please come in. I think she looks fresh in her casual clothing. Did you get used to the life here? Yes, they are all kind to me. Glad to hear that. Anyway, did you tell your mom that you're living here? My mom? You don't have to bother about that. But... I don't think she cares about me. She kicked me out of the house. I believe that she's now living together with a young man in that house. Oh... In a simplistic form, I was raised by a toxic parent. Please don't say such a sad thing. What? You, Daikun. That day, I didn't meet you by coincidence. What? what do you mean by that? Uh, oh. Wh why? Could you explain that? Your mom was the one who asked us to let you live here. What? A month before, she called my dad. She said that she wants us to take care of you. My dad was thinking about that for a while, but since your mom was desperate, 
he had no other choice than to grant her wish. Th that can't be true. There's no way that my mom could do such... Well then, do you want to see the truth? Is this look a person who's happy that she got rid of her own son? Why? Huh? You die? Why are you here? What are you doing? So, they told everything. You hated me, didn't you? You were abusive from the beginning. Why are you doing such things that mothers do to their children now? There's no way I could hate you. Huh? There's no way that a mother could hate her own son. I wanted to take care of you and become a proper mother for you. But I'm just a weak person. I've been troubling you all the time and... I couldn't do what a mother should do to her child. No way. You've suffered enough. You should be free from me. I wish for your happiness. Why are you saying that? Sorry, you die. I'm the one who should apologize. I've been blaming you for all of the bad things happened. I'm the one who is a bad son. I'm so sorry, Mom. I'll do my best to become a good son. I'll never leave you alone ever again. You die. Seems like the problem is solved. But you should live together with the Shimizu family. What? I understand your feelings, but nothing good will happen if you live here. But mom... I'm happy just by seeing your face sometimes. It's more than enough for me. I won't let this end here. I've decided that I'll never leave my mom alone ever again. Mikako-san! Huh? Please recruit me and my mom as your housekeepers. W what are you talking about, Yudai? Yudai-kun, that's... Me and my mom will do anything, so I beg you. My father said he has to have just you living in the house, but... I don't think he'll say the same thing to your mom. Please, big sister. Oh! It's against the rule to call me that here. What can't happen, just can't happen. By any chance, this might be... If you are really my big sister whom I could be proud of, you can solve this matter right away. Oh! If you're not willing to do that, I won't ever call you big sister again. You, Daikun, hold it right there. I love you, big sister. Well, I guess I have no choice. I'll negotiate with my dad, so please wait. You... Don't stare at me like that, Mom. Both me and my mom managed to be recruited as housekeepers. And we are living in Shimizu family's house. My mom does all the house chores and since she has stopped drinking alcohol, she looks more fresh than before. Sahara-san, could you help here? Noted. And about me. Uh, three of you. Today, Yudai-kun will be cooking with me. You two shouldn't disturb us. What? I want to go on a date with him. You can't just decide to do what you want. Fake lovers. I was asked to take care of those three sisters. Uh, stop fighting. Since you are sisters, you should get along well with each other. We're not talking about sharing sweets, you stupid. Big brother, you should play with me. Oh. Stop that cute face, Yui! He'll faint because of that! I'm sorry. Well, let's decide. Cooking, date, and fake lovers should be done in order for the four of us. Well, I guess we have no choice. I don't think so. That's not how it should be. Frankly speaking, to be a fake lover for four persons is nearly impossible. Yudai-kun, you said that you'll do anything when you asked me to recruit you, right? Well, that was... Do you think you can complain to us, housekeeper? Fake lovers. So, Yudai-kun, let's enjoy the weekend. Uh-oh. Lesson learned today. The word I'll do anything should be deleted from Japanese language.